We'll go through two two by fours and maybe some nails. With just one hand. We just got our hands on the Senior battery. What is this thing? It is a universal battery. These are the battery plates. So this one is a Milwaukee. This one's for Makita. And I've got a DeWalt behind me. This is the battery itself. All right, so this thing's got to have some limitations. I intend on finding them. Let's see if we can see what's going on with this. Let's go ahead and test it with the Milwaukee. This should be the Milwaukee plate there. Yeah, we're locked on there. And then we should be able to just slide the battery on. All right, let's see what's got. And we're going to go with the biggest ones available. There we go. Let's go rapid fire. No one's going to be shooting a pin nailer or a finish nailer that fast. So I wanted to prove that the original battery leaves nails up just as much as the aftermarket Senior, which is universal. Here's the deal. I don't think this thing is aimed for like professionals to replace your battery in the field. A lot of people on YouTube did these tests and they were like, you know, it's not quite there yet. And I, I would imagine not. It's a battery that works for every tool, not one specific tool made by the manufacturer. So there's going to be limitations. We're going to try to find them. We're going to run some three inch screws, something you can expect to do around the house. And let's see if there's a difference running this impact driver. So let's try this. We've got some three and a half inch screws here. Let's get it open and see what's going on. Spot. This is the battery here. It's 4.0. It's $70 so it's for this battery. This the button, plates and themselves for 20. Yeah. It charges with the USB-C, so it forward. is completely universal. You just Slap on whatever bars. plate you yeah, want, all the bars. and you're on your way. And let's get the DeWalt plate, which uh, the DeWalt plate is actually red, so it's a little bit confusing, but that's okay. So again, we're going to find the rails right there. Slide that on. Let's use the 870 for a treat. We're going to compare it with our power stack here. Parsec puts out power just like a five, basically. Which we'll use the same screws. Oh man, so smooth. This 870 is so smooth. Nice. Okay. Try the senior. That snaps right on there. All right, here we go. All right. The screws are going to get very hot very quickly. Let's do something else. Let's try. The 800, see all the modes. So one thing about these batteries, they're not like your typical universal adapter, right? They have all of the slots, a hot and a negative, and then your two kind of data slots, I guess you will. So if you look at the bottom of your tool, one, two, three, four. So these won't over discharge or do anything stupid without you knowing. Let's go right here in this knot. Man, it's got some power too. That's in a nail. Don't do this at home. It's got plenty of power. Uh, I have a feeling we could probably reach limitations if we did something really big with it, but practically, man, we just 
sunk a bunch of nails back to back. We impacted some two and a half inch screws. Uh, like I said, man, these aren't going to be like on the job site all the time kind of batteries. This is like what I said when I first started. Um, DIY enthusiast. And then someone like me that just wants to build your own thing and not be stuck with all the different types of batteries. Easier to slide. This is the Makita. Now what I've got here, this is a hybrid Makita. So it's got a lot of different functions. It's got hammer drill, impact, uh, clutch, drill, a lot of different modes here. We're gonna go for uh, hammer drill. No, we're gonna go for impact. But if you don't believe me, it does have hammer drill. So listen, there you go. Here's impact. So, screws are getting warm. Typical speed of an impact for a Makita, not the fastest, but ergonomics are nice and this thing does a lot of things. So here's an interesting twist. Let's do this. We're going to take a Melif saw, which is got a DeWalt battery on a true DeWalt battery. Like this thing actually has all the slots. Throw it on here. On like that. Put it on the saw. Dang. Okay, it's not bogging down. I'm going to try and bog this down. Okay, we got a little time out there. And I don't have a battery bar. That's interesting. So, what's going on with this battery? Try Milwaukee plate. Oh, sorry, this is the wall plate. That's interesting. I'm going to go pop this on a USB and see maybe if it needs to reset or something strange. Okay, so this is what happened. I don't know if it's going to work or not. What I did was I plugged it into the USB-C that charges it. It showed one light for half a second. Then it showed three lights. I unplugged the USB and now it's got all four bars. So is it ready to go? Interesting. So yeah, maybe that's a reset. So if you pull more current than this thing can handle, it shuts off. That's very interesting but also good to know and actually exactly why we're doing this for you guys so we know what to expect. Okay, so let's, let's run this saw again. Okay, we don't usually leave too much raw footage. I've cut quite a bit out. Um, I don't want you to think that I staged or did anything, so we're probably gonna leave the upside down part because mistakes happen. Okay. That's the senior battery. I got a good idea. Let's do this. We're going to put this battery in our chop saw here. You can see we don't have any power now. Put the senior in there. This should pull a lot of juice here.
That was too easy. That is good to know. Now I'm going to show you what I did last time to turn this back on. So I'm going to get a charger and we will be right back. Got my USB-C here. This should be plugged in the other side. We're going to plug it into this slot here. Let's see what happens. Got the flash. Three bars, pull it out. Four bars. Does it work? My wife is about to open the garage door, we gotta hurry. Yeah. Very interesting, you guys be the judge of that. Obviously you can't push this too much, but for a nailer, uh, impact, drill, even, even high speed half inch holes, works great. I agree with some of the comments, it might need a little bit more work, but uh, pretty solid, pretty cool. We can charge with USB-C. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, $70, 69 I think, and then the plates are $20. Uh, I, won't, I won't be sending this back. Uh, this is still functional. Like I said before, you know, we plowed with a half inch bit, like right through this, so that's all we got. Let me know if you guys want me to get the Metabo plate, and we will see you guys on the next one.